everyone welcome back to my channel welcome back to adora hack and in this video i am going to be talking about in demand tech field for 2021 if you've not watched my previous video i would suggest that you go and watch it and in that video i talked about high paying non-code tech fields and now i'm talking about tech fields that are in demand but require coding if this is something you're interested in i'll suggest you stick around to watching this video if this is something that you know a friend or someone that you know would be interested in please share this video on that note let's get right into this video but before we do please if you're not subscribed to my channel at this point make sure you hit that subscribe button thank you Machine learning is more, you know, a machine being able to learn different things, you know, learn patterns, learn behaviors, learn things, and then be able to act based on the things that it had learned prior. And I'm grouping machine learning and data science in the same buckets because, you know, when you think about data science, think about analyzing data in a way that makes sense so that you can make informed business decisions. Either way, data is involved. And I'm saying these two things, I mean, Machine learning engineers are machine learning engineers. Data scientists are data scientists. But I'm putting those two things together because if data did not exist, let's be honest, machines would not be able to learn anything because machines are able to learn or are able to get that information that allows them be those intuitive machines in quotes because of data made available. If you want to work in the field of AI, you want to work with a lot of data you want to process data analyze data um, train different AI models with data so that they can do different things then you can try out this field I checked a website I'm an engineer data scientist they usually earn about $98,000 on average annually um, if you want to learn these different things I would be leaving links to different courses in the description so if you want to learn how to be an ml engineer you know you want to learn about um, data science you want to take a data science course i would be leaving highly recommended courses in the description of that and i'll really advise that you take these courses so the next thing i want to talk about is cyber security if you look at the way the world is going today you know that a lot of things exist on the web over the internet we even talked about data like i don't know 40 seconds ago right data is everywhere on the internet is readily available for anyone at any time wherever you are and there's some things there's some information that should be guarded should be privileged it's not everything that should be available to everyone so the reason why cyber security is important or has become more important than ever because it has always been important to be honest is because at this time in technology at this point in our lives because of how fast the internet is growing it has been more important it has become more important to secure a lot of things attackers are everywhere they want your data they want access to you to do weird things unspeakable things different things and businesses now more than ever want to be able to protect their users from these sorts of attackers so you might want to get some kind of course in cyber security you might want to learn about why security is important you might want to do some kind of security training and take on one of these rules the next thing i want to talk about is cloud engineering and cloud engineering exists as a result of cloud computing and like a lot of people are moving all of their computing to the cloud nowadays you know everybody's doing a lot of things over the internet when you look at video streaming services you know music streaming services um then the different cloud computing things that exist you know when you look at infrastructure as a service platform as a service software as a service a cloud is literally just someone else's computer somewhere that your program is hosted on and i can gain access i can get access to that program because i have access to the internet so because of cloud computing cloud engineering roles have become more mainstream i mean software engineering is still an important role there because you're still writing code you're still building software i talked about cyber security just now it's also important to learn about security in the cloud this is something you might be interested in as a result of cloud computing one mainstream field that is coming up nowadays is the field of you know devops and you only think about devops you can think about like uh different things infrastructure engineering site reliability engineering different things essentially you might be thinking stuff like okay i want to be able to roll out changes in a way that does not break the services that my customers are using so i want to i want to create this 
um, CI/CD pipeline that helps that rollout very easy. You know, when I'm thinking about DevOps as well, I'm thinking about, you know, um, when I have on-call engineers, I want to be able to hire different engineers that are able to properly debug and if there's anything going on in my cloud service, they can quickly, you know, fix. I want to be able to hire different people that can create and manage the infrastructure that I need to run these different applications that my software engineers will be writing. I have to dedicate one whole video to just talking about, about DevOps and if that's something that you're interested in, let me know, I will be glad to do it but um let, when we're thinking about devops we're thinking about many things it's like if the application is down the response time to getting back up is pretty reasonable uh, because either you can quickly debug and fix changes or you can roll back changes or if it was an infrastructure problem you can quickly deploy new infrastructure to make your environment stable again also when you're thinking about making changes because at the end of the day now everybody is writing code and everybody's writing code quickly checking in code so it's important to have like a good pipeline so that as your code goes in through that pipeline before it gets to your production environment if anything was supposed to break it would break if there's supposed to be any uncertainties in terms of like you know tests that you're running or things that are happening you would catch them and you'd fix them and it just helps like the smooth deployment process um across multiple environments till you get to your production environment the next thing i want to talk about is xr um x i'm using the term xr as an umbrella term for ar vr and mr augmented reality virtual reality and mixed reality i'm using that term xr to describe that because of the times we're in when the pandemic everyone is you know physical distancing xr applications you, when you think about things like you know virtual tours you know you think about things like um different virtual experiences you know watching a vr movie watching a vr concert you know um ar things to be honest ar is even as small as if you've used snapchat or you've used instagram filter before you've interacted with ar at some point so this technology is something that is growing in different sectors when you look at health when you look at education when you look at entertainment when you look at gaming this field is something that is also growing and as a result it's a tech field that i want to talk about in this video as well if you want to learn more about you know being a vr developer or about xr in general or you want to take some kind of course i'm going to leave a link in the description for you to check out and i really 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 hope that you check it out one thing i also want to talk about is you know blockchain engineering i know that we're in nigeria and some things are one kind one kind one kind but i'm talking i'm talking globally right at the end of the day you want to think big you want to think bigger uh as much as you want to do things in the nigerian context you also want to do things that impact the world and that's why i'm talking about you know global fields and not just in you know nigeria some companies are looking for you know developers that understand you know the blockchain understand smart contracts understand decentralization understand all of these things and they want to work with these companies there are also you know different startups that are that help you you know trade cryptocurrencies as well and as a blockchain engineer you would be very valued in those sorts of places so that's also like things to think about the final thing i wanted to say is quantum computing i do not know anybody in nigeria that's does stuff with like quantum physics quantum mechanics quantum computing i have no idea but it's something that sounds very interesting it's something that sounds very 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 interesting um physics in general is annoying but it's also interesting um, because of what the world has become as a result of science um and if you're someone that cares about like all these sci-fi things you know you really care about building all this type of weird technologies you really care about like science fiction you really care about making these technologies real come to life doing some kind of research about these things this is the field for you if you're in nigeria then you might maybe need to organize a japa situation type thing for yourself because i do not know how many people do this here um but yeah uh, so i have talked about different fields and i'm going to just go over them again just in case I'm, i talked about different fields already and i'm going to go over them so i talked about um, machine learning and data science. I talked about cybersecurity. I talked about cloud engineering. I talked about 
XR, extended reality, I talked about blockchain engineering, and I talked about quantum computing. These tech fields, I talked about six different fields. Apart from the normal, you know, conventional web and mobile app engineering a lot of people already do, these fields are also fields that you should pay attention to that exist in tech. Tech is beyond web development. Tech is beyond mobile app. There is a lot going on. There's a lot going on behind the scenes. There's a lot going on in front of you as well that you're possibly not paying that much attention to. So I hope that I've been able to, in this video, draw your attention to some of these things and so that you can think about other alternate paths in case maybe web or mobile engineering isn't for any reason not working for you if you like this video please make sure that you give it a thumbs up thank you so much for watching this video to the end if you are not subscribed up to this point please make sure that you subscribe to my channel i would really appreciate it so much thank you once again for watching this video to the end and i will see you in my next video bye